Well, good morning, YouTube subscribers. Guess what? The Dragonfly Ray Marine is now off the boat. And it is right here if you would like to buy this off of me at a discount price. Screen protector, the entire unit, 12 foot extension if you need it. You might not need it, but $35, about $40 extra. So, what I'm going to be doing is waiting around right now for UPS to show up with a brand new Garmin. And I'll show that to you when I get it. But in the meantime, what I've been doing is a Suzuki maintenance kit. And what I've done, let's see, in the last week or so is lower unit lube, lower unit lube, uh, water pump, and high pressure, low pressure fuel filters. And then what I did on my own was all interior anodes, which is these right here. There's seven of them on this Suzuki. I did spark plugs and I did thermostats. So I should be like so good to go, it's ridiculous. So I'm waiting now on the UPS to come and get my helper over here, also known as Dad. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna pull this Garmin transducer cable. All right, so stand by. That's the next thing we should be doing. And I'm going to put the Tupperware on here and button the engine up because the weather is now back to beautiful in Jacksonville, Florida. It's not freezing cold. It's not hot. It's perfection right now. And today is December, I don't know, 10th or 11th or something. I've just been pumping day after day after day, doing the maintenance, working on the boat. I took this week because I thought it was going to be freezing cold all week. So, that's it, and I'll show you a little bit of the Garmin when I get it. Always remember, a clean Suzuki is a happy Suzuki. Especially when you get it back from these mechanics, and they put nothing but greasy fingers all over it and don't even clean it. If I ran a shop, I'd inspect everything that comes out of the shop. And if it wasn't clean, then it doesn't give, get, get given back to the customer. I mean, good God, you take this, take your motor to the shop and it comes back and it's just absolutely filthy with with greasy fingers. Alright folks, here we go. The UPS screwed me again. If my new depth finder to replace the Ray Marine that happens to be sitting right here was here about one o'clock I might have actually had been able to have the transducer uh, put in, or the transducer cable run by now. But since he shows up at 5 o'clock in the afternoon, now it's sort of dark. So I'm here in the shop and I'm kind of unboxing everything and taking a look because this is now phase two of the Jetty Wolf getting a new depth finder. First of all, here's my super chip that I bought, which was expensive as hell. Okay, and let's see what it is. Here's the packaging. It is the Garmin Blue Chip G2 Vision HD from Jacksonville to the Bahamas. Okay, here's the awaited thing. This is what I got. And when I took out the dragonfly, 
this is what I ended up getting. And this is the Garmin. This is called the Echo Map SV94. And there you go. That's it. It's a nine inch screen. And I did find out it's measured from here to here, diagonally. Look how thin that thing is. The cool thing about this, which is something I've never had before, is this mounts in to this mount. The whole unit snaps in, so if you wanted to take it out, all you do is take this head unit off and it leaves everything on your dash already plugged in. You put the plugs in here and they're in here like permanently. So um, there's the that's the mount for the dashboard. And then oh I wish I could hold the two side by side. But that's the transducer. That's the transducer. And it's a look down and it's a side imaging. Alrighty, well, my helper came over this morning and we got the transducer to the Garmin. Um, all run, had a little, little difficulty getting it all the way pulled through. And of course, here's the transducer. Side scan, metal, metal. That's what I like, metal. I'm a metal kind of guy. So, next thing to do is uh, hook up the power cord, then put the, the bracket down, and I'll be done. Alrighty folks, you're seeing it here first. The new Garmin. I just got it. I just pressed the button. So, I'm really excited. This thing has more stuff, and I love it. I mean, I've never had anything with side imaging before, but um, it's very easy to operate this Garmin. So um, let's just see if this can pick up a little bit of what I'm doing here. Let's see. Go 
back to menu. Yeah, we'll go back to home. Go to sonar, select. What do we want? Traditional down view and side view? Or do we want down view and side view? What do we want? Traditional and down view. There we go. Manual range. I don't like that. I like everything on auto. Alrighty, folks. I just found something that is really up my alley on my new Garmin Echo Map SV94. It is tides. And you can look at it for the next day and the next day. And you can go and select nearby stations. And here's an entire list of the tide stations near me. I mean, this is so sweet. So, take it back to the home. I mean, it's got gauges. I don't have any gauges hooked up to it, but you can have your engine, your environment. Let's see what environment is. Go down here and check. Ah, oh, look at this. It's got wind speed? Or no, that's the boat speed. Here would be ground speed, ground wind direction. Well, it's got water temp, sunrise, sunset, barometer, wind. Now, if I had a wind gauge, it would show that. Oh my God, this thing is awesome. Okay, go back to home. I mean, it is just really, I've never had anything like this. This is so, here's navigate to man overboard. Oh man, I'll tell you, this is really something. I hope you can see some of this in the screen here. Oh man, I just love it. Love it. This is what I wanted. I wanted something more like this than a kayaker's Ray Marine unit. So, oh. so go to sonar and select. What do we want? Traditional down view, traditional with down view. Down view and side view. Split. There's the flasher. Because I've seen this on YouTube. There's a flasher if you're wanting to play old school. So, uh, got a back button on it. Split frequencies even. This is awesome, folks. Um, I'm finally out of the old school. And there's just a full screen of the bottom. All right, so what it boils down to is Dave is now really happy. But what do I have? I have a Raymarine Dragonfly Pro 7 for sale. As of this moment, uh, 400 takes it away and it even comes with the, uh, the sun cover, which is really cool because it's kind of like a rubber sun cover and a 12 foot extension for the, for the uh, transducer cable. So, this has uh, put out a lot of money, but guess what? 
I've already sold a bunch of my old, what used to be on the boat, Ray Marine equipment. Already sold it on eBay this morning. So, all right, well, thanks for watching. And if I get any other updates according to this with this new Echo Map Garmin, I'll let you know. But this has been my roundabout way of installing new equipment on the boat. So, thanks for watching.